Lise here with the colored umbrella and happy Sunday. This is very random, but I just wanted to give a little bit of a PSA. But I do want to preface this with saying that I am in no way like saying like you have to do anything. Just do what you like. Just do you, boo. But as most of you know, I have developed a wonderful, beautiful allergy to epoxy. Started in December course during the Christmas rush and it developed after four years of using epoxy so it was not an instant thing. I get questions all the time about what it looks like if you are starting to develop an allergy so I just thought I would share some of that. For me it started with my wrists. I would get little kind of kind of like hives or just little red spots. I mean in fact if I don't know if you can see, I still have some scars on my arms from that. And then it eventually turned into my face puffing up and my eyes, like it was so bad. My whole face was red and it was just, it was really bad. I am so careful now when I use it. In fact, I didn't use it for a few months because I was so terrified of what was going to happen. So any reactions to epoxy now are like very, very, very rare, which is a great thing. But this last week, I was working on a couple cups and I was being super, super careful, had all my stuff on. But I don't know how this happened. I somehow on the inside of my glasses right here, uh, got some epoxy. And so when I put my glasses on, uh, after I had my mask on, I woke up the next day and I had a reaction right there. And then it just kind of, turn into more. And I just wanted to show you. So it started here, right there, and then it's just kind of slowly spread and it is starting to move over to this eye right here. This is probably as bad as this will get. When I was having it really bad, it was on both eyes, completely puffed up. I could barely like open my eyes at one point. Yeah, it's kind of scary, not the best. Lots of Benadryl, lots of Aquaphor. My main purpose of this though is not to be like you gotta wear a mask you gotta wear all of this like that's a whole separate thing my main thing of this is just to get some information out there that if you do have any symptoms that are like that just to really watch out for those things and be careful because that is your body becoming allergic to epoxy it's something that's not really ever talked about and that's just something that I feel like needs to be talked about more because I want to make sure that everybody is able to use resin safely. And even if you do have an allergy, yes, you can still use it as long as you are safe when you do use it. Yes, little freak things will happen like you got a little bit of epoxy on your glasses and you didn't even notice. If you have any questions at all on anything that has to do with that, I am such an open book about it. So always reach out. I'm always happy to answer any questions. Using epoxy safely is something that I have researched like extensively since December. Like, I mean, I looked up stuff before, but I will be completely honest. I really, I didn't know anything about it. I never wore a mask hardly, which is terrible. I did wear gloves, but that was about it. I just didn't do what I should have done to protect myself because I don't know. I just, I didn't know. Mainly that's on me though for not doing the research like I should have done. So if I can do something to help somebody else not have this happen, then that would be amazing. Even if I could help one person with that. So if you ever have any questions about it, please just let me know. And I actually have been working on for the last several months an entire thing about resin safety and just as much information as I could possibly get out there about just what exactly it is. Uh, I just want everybody to be aware with what we're working with. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, but I hope you have the best and most amazing day and the best week coming up and that you are just so successful and wonderful, but happy safely epoxying. <laughs> Bye.